pretty, we're getting hit pretty hard, bud. There's a ton of salt coming down off of it. This is a huge moment for us. Longer. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? I think it's too good to be true. Yep. This is just so easy to work with. This is Joel. Together with Tony and Jared, he gave up everything to buy a sailboat and go on the adventure of a lifetime. But after a death-defying sail to Cuba, he found himself alone. Wish me luck on this adventure. When Michael finished school, I asked her to sail with me and she agreed. Together, we explored the Bahamas, rescued a dismasted boat, sailed through a tropical storm, battled parasites and fiberglass for a year in the boatyard, adopted an orphan puppy, survived a hurricane, sailed across the Caribbean Sea, and fell madly in love. Bums on a Boat is about having the courage to go for it, to make mistakes and commit to a dream. Subscribe and join us each week as we improvise, adapt, and overcome. Bums on a boat. We are rebedding our deck hardware, specifically this stanchion right here and all the others, but we're focusing on this one that's been leaking the most. We've also been praying for rain and it's starting to pour. You might be noticing this massive tarp behind me, and that is an ingenious rain catcher, which is just about to fill our water tanks right here. And uh we're getting pretty, we're getting hit pretty hard, Bob. I might have to run and duck for cover. Ah! <laughs> ah! We didn't have to wait too long for the rain to subside. And while we were excited to catch rainwater, we were even more excited to take the stanchion off and reseal it. There's a ton of salt coming down off of it. Look at that. So I never would have guessed that moving on to a boat, a cordless battery operated vacuum would become one of my most prized possessions. Got to give a huge shout out to my soul sister, Dana Lee from the YouTube channel, Sailing SV Caterpillar. Do not go to the other side of the lighthouse. When she got a new one of these, she gave me her old one. Her and Bill actually gave us a ton of other battery operated tools that are amazing. But this little honey right here, if you want to get yourself something nice, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Moment of truth. I think it's already, already coming out. This is a huge moment for us. We bought this magma barbecue six years ago when we originally bought the boat. It's only been used a handful of times in the early days and it hasn't been used in over two years. What happens is there's a little regulator and that regulator, it goes bad. So now we're really gonna take care of this new one. This is the third regulator we've had to buy. They're special magma regulators. They're pretty expensive, but we found one here on the island so we can't wait to barbecue some chicken. We got uh, some jalapenos we're gonna throw on the barbecue, but we're just excited to be barbecuing on the boat again. So we've got noodles, we've got sauteed veggies, and we've got grilled chicken. And the sauteed veggies are in like a soy sauce, sriracha, and agave sauce. So it's like, oh, the sweet, spicy, savory. Mmm. Mm hmm. If you watched last week, we were trying to figure out our water situation. A friend of ours and a sailing mentor named Gary, we went on a race with him to Bermuda. He left a comment reminding us 
a good old fashioned tarp is a good option for rain catching. So I came out and strung it up here. Now we just need it to rain. I'm gonna take you guys to Ansel Roach. We're gonna take a quick break from the stanchion project to show you the secluded beach where Michael and I hands down had the best lobster in our entire lives. And it's just a once in a lifetime experience. And when we come back, we have a game changing update. Thanks to some friends of ours, Beef and Jana, they rolled by and dropped some something off that's gonna change the game. We're on the island of Cariacu, anchored in Tyrell Bay. Now, Ansel Roach is on the north side of the island. And as you can see here, it's off the beaten path. We're so close to being able to start hopping around on our own sailboat, but for now, we took the shuttle service. Our new friends, Mike and Gene, have been raving about Ansel Roach. They're on this catamaran that you see here, and it's the only boat in the whole anchorage. They say this is often the case. We can't wait to take Shock Matei here. It did rain most of the day. However, it did not ruin our day because the food is the main reason why you come here. Whoa. What did you order? I ordered lobster. Mm. But that's not lobster. What is that? It looks like stuffed piece of potato skin. Nice. Oh. Nice rice. Whoa. Wow. What do we got here? We, we got some amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Overall, I think we've got some cheese and some chilies like and some garlic, uh -huh. maybe. The aroma is like intoxicating. <laughs> All right. No, it's the alcohol, sweetie. <laughs> well, that'll do it too. Now, there's something about smoked food that just. Too close to the senses. Oh my gosh. All right, GG. That's Let's incredible. Go. Whoa. All right. Mm. What a treat. In the 11th hour, I was like just buying a little time. We ate our feast. I wanted to take a 10 minute break and then we were gonna hit it and we were gonna seal up that stanchion base with our 4200. And lo and behold, our friends Beef and Jana come by with a roll of butyl, which is what we've been wanting to use to seal up our stanchions and our deck hardware this whole time, but we couldn't find it on the island. They weren't able to order it from Grenada, so we were like, okay, we're stuck. We'll just have to use the 4200. But no, <laughs> this is insane. This is so like improbable. I can't even believe it, but amazing. We finally gave up and decided we're gonna use 4200. We were not looking forward to that because we, were, we heard such great things about butyl tape. There's many reasons why we were hoping to use butyl tape. One of the big reasons is that we don't have to make a huge mess. In fact, I can apply the butyl tape to the stanchion base right here inside of the boat. And I have all the time in the world. I don't have to hurry up once I start getting the sealant on here because it's going to set. Um, I can just take my time. And basically the goal is going to be to seal up each of these bolt holes here, but, I'll, but leave everything else open so that we have good drainage and we'll show you outside um, how our boat is designed for optimal drainage drainage uh, with the stanchion base here that's it yep too simple like too good to be true doesn't even say to put anything through the holes or it just literally says stick that down in tighten it down and then just trim the edges what's your source what video did you watch sail right seems legit those guys are pros 
So you see there's these four points here that where the bolts go through where that's where water can get into the boat. Here we have an a indention and a drainage. So that is for water that gets inside of the stanchion base here. So it doesn't pull up inside of here and, and then it's more likely to get in there. It's supposed to just drain right out of here and go and drain out of the tow reel. So one of the mistakes that uh, Tony and Jared and I did is we didn't pull the stanchion base out and rebed it. We just went around it with a bead of 5200 and went all the way around it thinking that's gonna help keep water from getting into the boat. But what that did was it trapped water inside. As the water came into the stanchion base, it got trapped underneath here. And I think it made it more likely to get into these holes here. Another amazing thing about the butyl tape is it, it's so easy to work with and with the 4200, we were gonna have to fill up every one of these holes, and then it was gonna be a mess. Stick each of the bolts through the hole, and then it was gonna be coming out down below, and we were gonna have, have it oozing out all over the place. But this is just so easy to work with. I think we're pretty much ready to install it. So now we're gonna go down below, put the base on, and then uh, put the nuts on and then we're gonna tighten from below. So we're just gonna hold the Phillips screwdriver in here to hold the head still and just turn the nuts so that the screw isn't turning and uh, disrupting the butyl tape in any way. Butyl tape, huh? I think this is really the hero of the episode. Oh, big time. Can you imagine if we were doing that with the 4200? No. It'd be a bloody mess. Yeah, I think Beef and Jana are the heroes. That's true. Our friends who brought by the Beetle tape at the last second, just before we started making a yeah. mess with 4200. By the way, if you've been watching us for a while and you're like super observant, you might remember Beef and Jana from back in Looperon. We met those guys years ago and we actually plan on doing some cruising with them so if you don't remember them you're gonna meet them in an upcoming episode and they are so much fun they're some of our best friends that we've met out here on the water so really excited to cruise with those guys and do some exploring together yeah they just got up from Grenada so we're trying to whip our boat in shape so this is really our final project is sealing up the entire deck before we're ready to start moving around and sailing checking out these islands on our own boat checking out these secluded beaches and we just wanted to show you one stanchion and it's gonna be the same process, we hope. We're gonna go one by one because yeah. we're living on the boat. So if it starts to rain or something, we can seal it off and just move all the way around the boat. Yeah, it'll be pretty repetitive, but we'll, we'll keep filming. You know, next episode is gonna show you the finished product of us finishing up, sealing up the stanchions, diving into the tow rail. If we realize that we're still getting leaks down below and we need to tackle the tow rail as well. And just in general, the last things that we need to do before we're pulling up the sails and doing some cruising. Yeah, right? we have some smaller things, you know, but this is really the last major project. Yeah. And, and we're, we're uh, excited because the beetle tape just makes it so much easier in every way. Faster, less messy, easier, better. Beetle tape is supposed to last for forever, life. it says. Uh, uh, some sail ride guy was what? saying 30 years, uh, but he also said forever in other uh, sentences. And, and the other thing is, is beetle tape is supposed to never get hard. So it maintains this, uh, this squishy consistency. And the adhesion. It's like... Yeah, it also has adhesion. So Whoa. we're going to just go with it and then stay tuned we'll let you know how it works and we're we can't wait to start sailing again yes. Ansel Roach was an amazing experience thank you Mike for showing off your favorite beach mm -hmm. on Kariku and Eric and Lisa I'm sorry we couldn't get uh, music and lyrics up and going but we you know thought on our feet and that's why they we got still taxis and shuttles on the island yeah thanks for joining us Thank we'll you to you our patrons. Week. You guys are rock stars. And we can't wait Legendary. to start sharing some, some sailing, adventuring, swimming, snorkeling, fishing type stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey, and I'd like to give a shout out to time. Warren, our patron who's about to do a sail from the Bahamas back to the mainland. Have fun out there, Warren. We'll be cheering you on. And congratulations to Craig on NV Conundrum for getting your boat out of the boat yard and all the way back in the home slip. I just saw the update today on the rendezvous. Congrats.
Big day for the bums rendezvous. Big step, big step. All right, be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us a comment if you're looking at those cracks around the base of our stanchion. We've got like the skin layer, it looks like, coming up from our deck. Let us know the best way to handle that when we get ready to repair our deck, paint it up once and for all. So if you have any advice, we'd love to hear it. And we'll see you next week. On the open blue. Is that your new tagline? Maybe. I'm trying it out. Okay. These are the tales of Boab. And the bum.